The conflict with Emperor Crusher and the other has reached a critical level. They are approaching the Sol system, the heart of the Federation, digitizing any vessels that dare to meet them in battle. All available ships have been ordered to form a defense there, including yours. We will meet the enemy in battle, and if a path to victory exists, we will take it! Glory to you and your house, warrior. Fight with honor. Kapla! Good morning. I realize the risk you've all taken in being here, to stand at our side in this dark hour. On behalf of Starfleet and the Federation, thank you. The interstellar entity known as the Other is approaching this system as we speak. Conventional methods of engagement have proven futile against the entity, but we have been able to limit the raiding conducted by the Terran fleets accompanying them. Under the guidance of the Terran Emperor, the other will erase Earth from existence in a matter of hours. Once that happens, they will continue their reign of terror, eliminating the core worlds of every Alliance faction, and anyone else brave enough to stand against them. The time to act, to make a stand, is now. I realize the odds are against us here. We're facing an enemy with a power level unheard of. But there is still hope. We have a plan. A plan, Admiral? How do you intend to defeat a being of godlike power? We have established contact with someone who knows the Emperor well. We believe they hold the key to victory in this conflict. We're ready. Energize. Admiral Quinn is correct. I know the Emperor very well. After all, I am his mother. There have been concerns about my son in the Empire for some time. It was decided that a contingency plan was required. In case he ever lost control. That time has come. For years. I've been working on a means to disrupt his great powers. We need to strike before he is fully merged with that thing. Before he loses the last elements of his humanity. Before he is no longer my son. You look like a person with something on their mind. What can I do for you? Operation. Interesting choice of words. As a surgeon, I'd say that what we're about to do is very much like an operation on a very specific patient. Only in this case, if we're successful, we'll be saving our lives. That's right. I've developed a countermeasure to his abilities. It utilizes a variable phase shift delivery system. One that should evade any detection tech or personal defenses he might have in place. I'll deploy a cluster of nanotech into his nervous system. It's based on tech provided by our Marshal Janeway. I understand she acquired it from a rather advanced group of cyborgs in the Delta Quadrant. Based on my research, it'll disrupt the parts of Wesley's brain that allow him to use his powers. He'll be human again, and vulnerable to attack. But, the countermeasure must be deployed at short range. We'll need to get to him at the core of the other to pull this off. Unfortunately, they have fortified their defense systems. Until we can safely breach those defenses and reach the core, this conversation is moot. You'd better work fast. My son might be taking his time getting here, but he won't take forever. If you don't have something by the time he arrives, well, I'm told the digitization process is quick and painless. A rather humane method of execution, all things considered.
In our time of utmost need, the Federation came to the Dominion's aid against the Herc. The Founders will never forget this brave act. Today, in the spirit of that act, we stand ready to defend the Federation's capital world. Today, the credo of the Jem'Hadar is especially profound. For today, victory is life for us all. The Federation stood with the Empire over Kronos when the Undine sent their planet killer to destroy the homeworld. We fought at their side against the Iconians, and we will fight at their side against the Other and the Terrans. It will be a glorious battle. Today is a good day to die. Well then, we've heard all the speeches, now it's time to get to work. Are you ready to begin the operation? I've been in a lot of battles in my time, far more than I'd like if I'm honest. I prefer the role of explorer over that of a warrior. But when it comes down to the survival of the Federation, I'll take up that mantle without hesitation. The crew of the Enterprise will fight to their final breath to save as many lives as possible today. Count on it. The Federation has stood with the Romulan people many times. When the homeworld was lost, they were there to help. When we found a new home, they were there as well. New Romulus has not forgotten. Today, we stand ready to honor our alliance and defend the Earth from this new menace. Well then, we've heard all the speeches, now it's time to get to work. Are you ready to... Long-range sensors have picked up the other at the edge of the system. They're on a direct course to Jupiter. Jupiter Station has a unique holographic defense system in place, but it'll only last so long against the other and their Terran escorts. I'd like you to deliver a system upgrade module to the station to aid with their defense. The Lisette will be leading a task force at Mars. Evacuation has already begun, but they'll need all the time you can buy them at Jupiter. Enterprise will be here, on standby, in case of emergency. Once the evacuations are complete at Jupiter and Mars, you're to fall back to Earth and join the remaining defense fleets. All hands go to red alert. Repeat, all hands, red alert. Corin to fleet. Prepare for battle. Kapla! This is Dirac. It's time. Best speed to Mars. Good luck out there. The other isn't alone. They're bringing a large Terran invasion force along for the ride. I expect they'll do their best to loot and pillage in the wake of the other's destruction. Do what you can to stop that. But remember, saving lives comes first. Get as many people out of Jupiter as you can. I don't doubt it. Better get moving. Captain Corrin can be a little rough when people are late to a battle. You have arrived. Good. The enemy is approaching at high speed, and we have little time to prepare for battle. Deliver the defense upgrade to Jupiter Station at once. After that, evacuation efforts will commence. Defend the station and the evac ships when that happens. Our energy field detected. They're here! Terran ships warping in near projector station Alpha!
The briefings are one thing, but to see the power of the other firsthand is disturbing. In moments, we lost the Fortescue, Jupiter Station, even Jupiter itself. The Terran in me hates to run from a fight, but we don't have a chance against that monster. We need to fall back to Mars. Jupiter Station barely slowed the invaders down. The other could attack here at any moment. Join us in transporting civilians from Mars and delivering them to the evacuation fleet in orbit. We'll conduct evac operations as long as we're able and protect the transports from Terran attack. has fallen. Destruction and battle. A fitting end for a world named after a god of war. The Lisette went out fighting. It'd be suicide if we did the same. It's time to retreat to Earth while you're still able. might be our last stand. The science teams are still working on a way to reach the core of the other, but none of their efforts have been successful. We've transported as many as we can to safety, but at this point, a full evacuation is impossible. Glad to hear it. Every minute means more lives saved. Before you go, there's something I'd like to say. We're with you to the end. If we don't make it out of this, well, it's been an honor. Enterprise to fleet. Defend Earth at all costs. Buy as much time for evacuation as you can. Sean out. Here we go, people. Once more, onto the breach. Shields at maximum. All hands, brace for impact. It will not be enough, Admiral. Today is a good day to die. Perhaps not, Chancellor. Tactical, report. What just happened? Sir, it... There's another one! It's Feature! We 
came as soon as possible. Vija will engage the other in battle, allowing you to focus on the Terran fleet. Understood. I will begin work on that at once. Protect your allies from the Terrans while I do. Vija? Well, the game's a foot, eh? <laughs> so... VJ is keeping the other engaged in battle. With my aid, you will now be able to breach their defenses and enter the interior of the other. We need to move quickly. The sooner we make it to Wes and deploy the countermeasure, the better. Every minute we delay gives that mind of his time to figure out what we're up to and how to stop us. So, are you ready? All right, we made it in, but we won't be here for long if we don't take out some of the other's critical systems. Let's work with Ilea to isolate a number of those systems. We'll divide and conquer here. You and the Defiant will tackle one set of targets, while Sean and I will handle the others. Care to place a wager on which group finishes first? All right, let's get this over with. Allied ships on set Well, here's where it gets really interesting. Time to enter the belly of the beast. We made it. I can't help feeling like we're being toyed with, though. That Wesley allowed us to come this far, like a cat playing with its prey. True. Let's hope there's still enough of Wesley that's human in there, and that he can be dealt with. I see no reason to wait, do you? Let's beam down and get this over with. Can't say I'm thrilled to be in here again. The list of people who have come here and survived to tell the tale is pretty short. Naturally, my name's on the top of that list. A dubious honor, to be sure. Right. We'll need to make our way to the core area, across a number of artificial islands, like this one. Expect attacks from security drones. And whatever else the Emperor might have dreamed up since last time I was here. Strange anomaly ahead. Let's go examine it. There you are, Wesley. Another strong son of the Empire, Doctor. Congratulations. Thank you. He's going to do great things one day. I have the results of the med scans you requested as well. Hmm. 
It's neural capacity, cognitive ability. They're amazing. You realize we must report these findings to Section 31, yes? No. Unless you want your affair with the Vulcan exposed as well. Uh, no. I, I do not, Doctor. Then we have an understanding. You're dismissed. Don't you worry, Wesley. I won't allow my son to be a lab rat, dissected by some Section 31 butcher. I'll do everything I can to protect you. Always. What? I think that projection was from one of Wesley's early memories, perhaps the earliest. I remember it like it was yesterday, the moment I knew Wesley was special, even as an infant. It was also the moment I knew I had to keep his gifts a secret. I'm not sure. It could be his subconscious at work, going over pivotal events in his life before now. He might be using them as an anchor to avoid losing his sense of self. His identity. Jellicoe's asked me to serve on the Enterprise, and I've accepted the offer. The new flagship? That's great, Mom! He assured me that you'll be allowed on board, but you'll need to maintain your ruse, son. What? No! Mom! I'm tired of hiding what I can do! Wes, if Jellico knew about your gifts, he'd exploit them. And if he saw you as a threat, he'd have you killed. You need to be patient, son. Jellico is weak. It won't be long until he's replaced. <sighs> yes. You're right, of course. Soon. You'll be able to show the Empire what you're made of, son. Your future, our future, will be limitless. Stay out of my mind! Jellic, what conniving snake put up in the end, for me and Wesley. Captain Jellico made an enemy of Ronnie Picard. Few do that and live to tell the tale, and he was not one of the few. Once Jellico was out of the way, Wes and I were able to join Picard and serve the Empire with distinction aboard the Enterprise. Ready for another trip down memory lane? Wesley! How? You were on the Enterprise in deep space and now you're here? On Terra? Something's happened, Mom. Something incredible. Tell me, what happened? We found something, Mom. Or rather, someone. <laughs> A being of great power. Power that belongs to me now. What kind of power, exactly? Power over time and space. The power to travel great distances in the blink of an eye, and more. This is the moment you've been waiting for, son. Not even the Emperor can stand against such power. Yeah, about that. I think the Emperor has been sitting in my chair long enough, don't you? It's time to do something about that. Ah! I will end you! Ah, yes. The day West decided to take the Imperial Throne for himself. I remember it well. With the powers he took from the Traveler, he was practically unstoppable. He made surgical strikes throughout the upper echelon of the Empire. One by one, he eliminated all of the Emperor's key allies. No one could stop him. Not even the Emperor. Very much so. At the time, I was filled with pride and ambition. To be the mother of the Emperor, to have that level of power and influence, it was a little intoxicating, to be honest. It wasn't until later that I realized what that level of power could do to a person.
Thank you for seeing me, Majesty. Mom, it's me. No need for formalities here. As you wish. Oh, I've seen that look before. That's the son we need to talk look. Okay. <laughs> What's on your mind? Wes, this new plan of yours. What about it? It's reckless. You've gone too far this time. And? And what What if I have? What, what then? You are powerful, son, but you're not invincible. There are still ways to kill you. Is that a threat I'm hearing, Mom? This is Terra, son. No one is above the Empire, not even the Emperor. I am the Empire, Mother. Planets burn at my command. No one is above me. No one. Perhaps you need some time alone to realize this. Guards, escort my mother to the Inquisitor. Don't do this, son. Enough. Take her away now. Get out of my head! Now! To this day, I'm surprised he didn't kill me for that. He's killed people for a lot less, believe me. He might regret that soon. By that point, he'd made enough people in high places nervous. Nervous enough to facilitate my research, even in prison. And now, we have the countermeasure, which could lead to his death. As a doctor, and his mother, that's something I don't want to happen. I want to bring him back from all this, save his life, not end it. I understand. Ending his life might be necessary, but as a former leader of the Empire once said, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few, or the one. In the end, I'll do what I have to do. You have my word. I will summon nodes from Vija to disrupt the connection between the Emperor and the Other. You will need to activate them when they arrive. It's ready. Once we've separated Wesley from the Other, we'll need to introduce the countermeasure. There's a problem, however. I'm reading an unusually high energy field in here. Twelfth power level. The countermeasure will fail in that environment. Those pylons are giving me an idea, though. We may be able to utilize them to reduce the power level and enable the countermeasure successfully. There he is. Let's do this. No. Wesley. Are we too late? Are you too far gone to save? You came here to save me. ME! You're the only people here that need saving. I'm impressed you made it this far, Mom. Well done. Um, seriously though, do you really think you're going to talk me out of this? <laughs> it's the first and last step for you. Once I've digitized Viger, I'll do the same to that pathetic reflection of Terra out there. But you and your friends won't be around to see that. This is just another chapter in the book of my life, but for you, this is your grand finale, and it's not gonna be a happy ending, I assure you. We must disrupt the merging of the Emperor and the Other.
No! No, no! Mom! Come on. Wake up. Wake up. Don't don't do this to me, Mom. Please, Mom. Please wake up. I didn't I didn't mean to. It's this thing, Mom! It's the other! I I did it! It wasn't me! No. Wes. It was. Mom. It was you. But you lost control of it and yourself. Mom, I'm so sorry. I didn't think it would go this far. It's over now, son. It's over. It is over. Vija and Sika are restoring all that was digitized before. They will join Vija and myself on our journey. Together, we will teach them, help them to grow beyond their destructive natures. In a way, we shall become a family. We understand your concerns, but we are not ready to end their lives when the chance to heal them exists. Long ago, the crew of the Enterprise trusted Vija and myself to do the right thing here, above the Earth. We are asking you to do the same now. It's time. I wish it didn't have to end this way, but I think Viger and Aaliyah are taking Seeker and me to a better place, a new frontier beyond this universe. I've had enough of ruling an empire. I think, I think I'm gonna like being an explorer. I think it's something you've always wanted to do, but the cruel reality of the Empire kept you from it. Now's your chance. Make the most of it. And remember that no matter where you are, you have a proud mother that loves you very much. Always. I love you too, Mom. Always. It's been a long day. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to leave this place and find a very strong drink. Ready to beam out? It was an interesting day. A glorious battle, worthy of song. And then, a flash of light. I thought I was to meet the honored dead in Stovacor. But it was not to be. Ha! There will indeed. Still, if that was the end for me, it would have been a good death. 
To die in battle against a god. Defiant to the end. Teeth bared. And a warrior's cry filling the air. It would have been glorious! I can't help but wonder what Captain Kirk and the crew of his Enterprise would think of today's events. They had run-ins with cosmic entities of the Terran Empire, too. I think you're right. A lot has changed since their time, but the Federation remains. It'll be nice to return to the role of explorer again. A role they boldly pursued. It is a curious thing what happened at Mars. Digitization. To be in the midst of combat, and then, suddenly, nothing. It was painless. Almost peaceful. We experienced nothing in our time away. For us, it seemed like no time had passed at all. After such an event, I look forward to more mundane pursuits. I believe I prefer threats like the Tal Shiar and the Syndicate over mad demigods, don't you? For you, this operation is over. But for me, the work's just getting started. Think about it. The Imperial Terran throne is vacant. The Mirror Universe is going to be a war zone until someone manages to rise above the din and take the crown. I'll be working with Ray Yeet to find out who takes the throne and what they plan to do with it once it's theirs. These last few days are going to make for a very interesting chapter in my memoir, let me tell ya. I'll be sure my biographer frames you in a good light, despite you being from, well, <laughs> this universe. <laughs> I'll be sure everyone gets their due. <laughs> Believe me. You, the Inquisitor, Ilea, even old Painway herself. <laughs> Hard to say. Probably back on Voyager fuming over not getting to kill Tilly. Not saying I rubbed it in or anything, but she's a little bit salty about that. <laughs> if I were the Inquisitor, I'd keep my head on a swivel for a while. There you are. I wanted to thank you for sparing Wesley's life. Others in your position might not have, especially in the heat of battle, so thank you. Now, he's off to explore the universe with his new family. I suppose that was the best outcome, but I hope he doesn't forget his original family in the process. This has been an interesting experience, Doppelganger. I'll not soon forget it. Or you. That's putting it mildly. You earn my respect today. But understand that the next time we meet, it will most likely be as enemies. Perhaps one day we will find out which one of us is superior, and which is the reflection. The Federation, indeed the entire Alliance, owes you a debt of gratitude today. Thank you for your service. I'll let you get back to it, then. You're cleared for departure whenever you're ready. So, how does the crown look? Too much? Or not enough? You wear it well. I hope you didn't bring me here to talk about fashion. Oh, no, no. You and I have much more important things to discuss. Then let's get to work, Empress. You served the Empire with honor today. I am especially glad I was not digitized. 
It would not have been a good death, and I have no desire to see Grethor again. Instead, the Terran Empire is without a leader. Perhaps the Klingons of that universe will take advantage of this, as they did before. I would not regret an end to the Terran regime. Should they return to test us again, I will not hesitate to call on you, warrior. You have a knack for dealing with Terrans, after all. <laughs>